Uh, uh, Shalom. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Aaron. What's going on, brother? Okay, well, most of the time, man, I've been watching you probably for about 10 years. And Captain, I just started watching you probably about a year ago. I just got in the truth maybe about six months ago, and I stopped doing a lot of stuff repenting. And first, I want to say all most praise to the most high God. But uh, our problem is, as far as so-called black men, our problem is we um, want to hear nice words and soft words. We want people to talk kind to us. Mm -hmm. um, for example, I, I catch a, a Uber ride, right? And I make sure that I cancel out every other nation. I only get my people. And what I do is I'll text what I have on my location and then they'll pick me up and I get in the car and I greet them. And then they'll say, is your name Aaron Hughes? And then I say, of course, my name Aaron Hughes. And then they'll say, well, man, you ain't got to be all mad and mean about it. You know, I'm just doing my job. I say, brother, first of all, why are you worried about how I talk? Why are you worried about if I'm offended or not? A lot, you and Tommy, I can say this about y'all. Y'all remind my grandfather. He said what he had to say, and that's what it was. Even in the Bible, uh, it say about uh, God is a man of war. Uh, it say uh, uh, speak loud, fear not. We, we so worried about getting our feelings hurt off words. As long as don't nobody touch me, I'm good. But the problem we have as men, uh, I, I had to catch myself when I was uh, about nine years old. I was raised by my mom. My father came in and out the house every once in a while. And I was over at my boy's house one day and I'm eating. And I, some just had me look at my hand, how I was holding the fork. And I said, wait a minute, I'm holding the fork like my mama hold the fork, this is some bullshit. So I had to adjust and I, I started putting myself around. I started calling my daddy up. I started calling my grandfather up. I, my mother was like, your father ain't shit. I said, well, okay, whatever. And when I got with my father, he was like, well, you know, your mama kept me away from you. I said, for real, ain't that about a bitch. All this time I'm looking for you, hold my goddamn fork like a woman, and I've been looking for you. So basically, a lot of our men, all the women out here that got single sons, please do me a favor. If you don't allow the man to be in that boy's life, at least take him, put him in some type of program where he around men. Because a lot of the boys are taking on the feminine nature of the woman with, with the attitude and the sassiness. You know, I, I'm in a uh, car one day with a cab driver, big bulky dude, probably about your size cap, 350 solid. I ain't no and, uh no, I'm saying, but he was your size, but oh. he was, he was a little bit bigger. He was your height. I'm sorry. Oh. He was your height, <laughs> but he was 350 solid. I mean, you can see the muscles ripping through his shirt like he the Hulk Hogan, right? Right. And uh, he asked me, he asked me a simple question and I said it like a man, you know, I, I talk loud because I'm a supervisor right. and I said, no, nah, man, you're going to turn that way. He said, man, you ain't got to yell at me. I said, man, what the fuck is your problem, man? You a big grown ass man with muscles. This is how in the fuck I talk. So we got, uh, 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 especially my black men, get out of that, that, that make, trying to make somebody make you feel good. Make your own self feel good. You know, a lot of people tell me, you have a nice day. I don't need that. Because whatever's going to happen to me, God going to decide what's going to happen to me. You telling me to have a nice day is not going to make me feel good. I tell a lot of people, I'm going to say on this note, I'm tired, of our, I, I'm tired of our black people trying to look for feel good from and other nations, yes. You said you don't want them to tell you to have a good day. No, I don't need that. <laughs> God, wait, it's so, words. Wait, wait. I'm gonna give you an example, Cap. I'm gonna give you an example, Cap. Let me give you an example. The word "good morning" to me, that's a curse word. That's a curse word to me. Don't tell me "good morning." I go to my job. I tell them all. Listen, I got about ten good mornings in me. It's too early in the morning to be talking all that. I, I don't, I, I'm straight business. When I go into an air business, hey, brother, hey, boss, hey, cuz, hey, man, don't do not do that with me. Well, why not? I do that with all the brothers. I'm not all the brothers. What you want to call? You don't call me shit. Just take this money I'm forced to give you. Get my pocket. Let me get out the door. Just, but I want to end on this note, Cap. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, you say you want to end on this note. Uh, damn, I forgot already. <laughs> Golly. The main thing. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, this is my first time on uh, on, on the podcast live, so <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous, you know what I mean? But uh, my, main goal, my main goal, 
You did that thing. You need to come up here and have an <laughs> altar. You, you, you come up here and you motherfucking mad and shit. Yo, Let you, me tell you something. When I'm sick of it, these motherfucking digital clocks. When the electricity go out, what you gonna do then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I'm saying. Listen, look, what I'm saying is now, how you joking with me? Most guys that feminine would get mad. It's funny to me. But Aaron, I can't get my feelings hurt. But Aaron, you, and a lot of exactly you, Captain, you be hurting a lot of brothers' feelings off your words, and I don't understand it. Why they be getting so hurt? But Aaron, they be wanting to fight you. I just got one critique, Aaron. Yes, sir. Why are you mad at the damn Uber drivers, man? The Uber driver is supposed to say, "Hey, you know what's your name?" Like, you don't want to, you don't think yeah. because, like, okay, so now you say you're new to the truth. Like, even the scriptures say, "Be seasoned with salt." How you order address every man. So if you getting just, you just getting in the Uber ride. Hey, is your name Aaron? Of course, my name is Aaron. Like, what? Like, what? what no, what? No, what I do is no. What I do is I text him. My name Aaron. I got on the a, 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 a Detroit hat. I got on the Ford shirt, red. I'm standing by myself. Most of the people don't do that. I'm talking about the ones that do do that. Most of them just say, "Oh yeah, what's up, Aaron?" I, I'm talking about the ones that do 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 it. Nigga, you read the? You can't comprehend what you read. But my main point is, listen, all the brothers on here, stop trying to make people feel, make y'all feel good. And Captain, you will agree with me on this. I heard you say about Martin Luther King and everybody got mad at you or whatever, and you brought up a scripture about him, right? Right. And my thing is, um, like at my job, I don't I don't like the fact that people make you feel good and you actually fall for that okie doke shit. If I was famous, if I was Martin Luther King and they wanted to name a street after me, fuck your street name, give me my money. Same as we got a Rosa Parks transit center down here. They want to name a Rosa Parks after uh, somebody after uh, we, they want to name us after buildings. Give us our money. Give us our money back. Uh, you know what? That's all I want to say. Let me tell you something. Hey, Cap. Yeah. Every time we do a show, this nigga need to get to yeah. come up here and just go the fuck off on something. You, Who I, me? I, I, and, and, yes, and it ain't hard for you to do it because it seems like you be angry at a lot Pretty of far. shit. Oh, no. This is my first time being on the podcast. He be like, this my he, first time. He, he be like, what the fuck is napkins anyway? I don't know the difference between the motherfuckers that's paper and the motherfuckers that's cloth. So you mean to tell me that it's pain? Every time we do a show, this nigga's going to rant about something that you know. No, 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 I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't. I'm just mad about all the feminine men that's coming over here. Get, I'm mad at the feminine men that's coming over here. Huh? But you did make a point at the end. I don't think you, but I, I'm assuming you knew it once you get past all that damn anger. You made a point. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga don't want no street. I don't want a bitch to name no street after me. Give me the money. Right. right. Thank I you. never even thought Thank about you. that. Right. Yeah. 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 I agree. And the feminine men. Now, do y'all, what do y'all have to say about the, the, the men being feminine, not gay, <laughs> just feminine acting? <laughs> I don't like feminine men. I don't like them acting feminine, acting, looking, none of that. I agree with that part. See, see how he say shit that although you get past that anger. Right. He, listen, he had a lot of shit to get off his chest. Uber, good mornings, talkings and greetings. Once he got, once he got put all that time, and then he was straight after that. But he, you can tell that Uber shit was on his brain. Object of none, but he had to get he, he said, I gave my whole description. You ain't gotta ask who I am. You should read who I am. That's what he's saying. Now, let me ask hey, you how you hey, feel hey, about hey. peanut M Ms. See, I don't like that shit. Peanut M and chocolate, or it's not. What the fuck you doing putting chocolate on the nuts? That's some gay shit anyway. You put nuts up. I'm, I'm calm down now. I'm, I'm calm down. Right, I'm you, calm down. No, man. Did you ever calm down? Yeah, now nah, you can stay exactly what we well, listen. We hear what you're trying to say. The comedy part, the entertaining part, is all the angry shit you come with at first. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so Aaron, do you train? Do you train new employees? I used to. I used to. I don't know more right now. What I do is you, you I wonder what. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. No, I stop. <laughs> I stop. No more. I stop. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing now. I go to work. I go to employment. People ask me where I work. I say no. Once I found out the truth about the Ford. 
uh, company, how their last name is really Weisenhower, and how the, uh, he had two black slaves, Patterson, who created the Model T in his farm, and Carver, he had to cut his dick off because he didn't want him to have sex with the white women who created the assembly line. I stopped working. I'm, I'm done. I'm mad now. I'm mad. They taking all of our shit, us you. getting credit for it. Huh? You ain't got to tell us you're mad. We know you're mad, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know you mad, brother. But listen, yeah, man is an understatement at this point. And what you telling me is some wild shit. Like, you really That's got some convictions. <laughs> Not like Larry, because Larry got some other kind of convictions. Yeah, you? Larry will. Yeah, Larry. <laughs> All right, let me say this about my four-year-old daughter, Tommy. Let me say this. My daughter turned four, right? And I said, baby, you know ain't no such thing as Santa Claus. So my brother, my, my grandmother, my auntie called me on three-way. And my grandmother said, hey, baby. She said, baby, I just want to know, baby, why you tell Ariana that uh, Santa Claus is fake? I said, grandma, I ain't never disrespected you, right? She said, no, nah, baby. I said, grandma, I want you to ask me that question again. But think about it. Phone was quiet. And she said, yeah, baby, but I know I said exactly my point. When I lie to you, whoop my ass. I'm not going to lie to my daughter. I take my daughter out on dates. That's what you men need to do to have daughters. Take your I daughter see. out on dates later until you go on to work every day. You, you want to be an example for your daughter's boyfriend. You see what I'm saying? I, my, my daughter don't call no other man daddy. She don't sit on no man's lap. My daughter loves dresses now because I, every time I got her, I would get her with tight jogging pants on. She four. And I start throwing her clothes away. Every time I got her, I bought her dresses. So li listen, brothers, if you got daughters, take treat your daughter like a date. So when something happened to you, she would look for a man like you. Women, if you got sons that you don't want to be around the father, make, make sure your boy is around a man. And all the brothers out there, stop acting feminine and stop looking for somebody to make you feel good. Make your own self feel good. That's all I want to say. Amen to that. I ain't even mad at him because he's right. If we start yeah. looking for yep. something else to complete us, mm -hmm. we bit this is what Fresh was looking for. Yeah. It's what Jeezy was looking for. Mm -hmm. It's what a lot, it, it's what future looking for. Because future didn't got that many babies. Y'all can think that's a player all you want. When you got that many baby mamas, you know what that means? That there's a hole inside of you. Real talk. We don't ever want to talk about what men go through mentally. When you see a man going through women and burning through women and doing stuff like that, that means he doesn't value himself. Right. He got something to lose. Think about it. Those women we fucking ain't got nothing to lose. We do. <laughs> I got a partner. He get a he every other check is one dollar. He got eighteen kids. Yeah. Every other check he get paid. We get paid every week. Every other check is literally a dollar. Jeez. Jeez. That's and child support is not for all men. Child support is only for brothers that don't take care of their kids. Child, when I when I lost my job, guess what I did. I went out and hustled in the street, made sure my daughter had diapers. I didn't have to worry about getting pulled over by the police and have a warrant and go to jail. And they, see, child support messed the brothers up that's doing good, lose their job for a couple of months. Now they're going to jail. Now they can't get a job because now they got a, a history. So child support is only for brothers that don't take care of their kids. All black men are not bad parents. Like I say, I raised my daughter from two to five. I was one of them guys, Tommy. All, all I saw was ass. That's it. Until she told me she was pregnant. And I said, huh? What? <laughs> I said, hold on, let me call you right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, I don't know why, but once they tell us they're pregnant, it make us realize I don't really like you. Like, like man. <laughs> as soon as you come up right, I'll be like, I don't really like you like that at all. <laughs> but I did a I did a test, found out she was my baby. I gotta take care of her. That's my seed. And I, I believe in regeneration. I'm just learning about this regeneration things. So I'm trying to make sure I, I send as less as possible. Like uh, for example, I smoke a cigarette. A guy asks for a cigarette, I say, no, nah, brother, I'm trying to stop. I'm not gonna give you one. That's add more to my sin. So basically, I don't want that to come on to my daughter. So I'm trying to, I, I want all you parents to understand, 
the way you live, your your kids are gonna get that that seed. If I understand the Bible right, you don't want your kids to get that seed. You know, and for example, it's hard to stop doing stuff. It took me three years to stop eating pork. Honestly, everybody's like, "Well, you eat pork." I said, "It, it, it took me a minute." I stopped for six months. I eat some pork. I repent. But now I can honestly say I don't eat pork no more. So whatever your problem is, just work on it. You know what I mean? Work on it bit by bit until you stop what you're trying to do. If you promiscuous out here, get your hand. I don't, I don't know. Uh, fig, figure out something. You know, pray on it. You got to fast. You know what I'm saying? And pray. You know. Like I said, I'm only like six months into the truth, so I'm learning. <laughs> it's crazy.